For you EV owners, have you ever found yourself caught in a situation where your charging area was unable to reach where your car is? For example, you may find yourself going to a destination area where there's charging, but some person has their vehicle parked in an EV charging area only, and you simply cannot reach. That's a real world situation. Or you may find that the home that you live in, the charging plug itself is just simply too far for you to charge your car and you need to figure out some way to charge it at home. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and stick around. I'm going to show you guys what I have going on that's going to solve some real EV problems. What is happening, automotive fanatics? It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you guys with a product unveiling, review, and discussion. Those of you that own EVs and you are constantly charging, you're gonna run into some situations where you simply cannot charge. Let's say you go somewhere that has a destination charger, but unfortunately, you can't reach it because someone's blocking the charging area or the cable itself is just simply too short. The other situation that is very real world is at home where your charging plug itself is on the other side of the house. You simply don't have accessibility to it and you have thought about maybe running an extension cable to your car. There are a couple things that you can do. You can definitely use a standard 120 charger on your car and you can run an extension cable from one outlet to where your vehicle might be. The drawback with that is because it is 120 volt plug adapter, you're not going to be able to charge very long. So that is a big no for charging. Let me go ahead and introduce you guys to a company called EV Dance. They specialize in charging equipment as well as accessories for your Tesla or your 1772 equipped EV. Today what I wanted to go ahead and talk about is their extension cable that is made specifically for the Tesla. For you 1772 users, they also make a cable. So rejoice, you are covered. So definitely do not worry. Let me go ahead and quickly show you real quick what we have going on. This is going to be your box that is coming from EV Dance. This is going to be the extension cable designed for the Tesla. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, check it out. The beauty with EV Dance, they've got a nice bag that you can put it in. So we'll go ahead and just put the box down. And here is going to be the little bag that houses the extension cable. Okay, let's check it out here. I have not opened this here, so you've got, it looks like, just a little user's manual for the cable. And then this is how it's going to come from EV Dance. It's well packaged covered up nicely, and just the initial uh, look of this cable, this is not some rinky-dink extension cable you're looking at. I'm probably looking at at least three quarters of an inch thick cabling. Definitely strong. Okay, so this here is what is going to connect to your Tesla. This is going to be 
this side that connects to, uh, let's just say like a destination Tesla charger so that you can extend it. The thing about EV Dance, as I had mentioned, they really focus on quality. You can see that the cabling is very thick. They use silver plated copper, so the wiring in itself is industrial strength. It's designed to go as high as 50 amps, so you can charge relatively fast. So very high quality stuff. It is also waterproof so that in the event that you need to charge your vehicle well outside under the elements, it is 100% waterproof. What I will go ahead and demonstrate today is I'm going to show you guys how to run an extension safely and effectively from one charging area to a situation where your Tesla may be entirely too far. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and put this extension Tesla cable to the works. I'm going to go ahead and present to you guys a potential real world situation. Here is my main house, my charger. My tenant over there with the Model Y lives on the other side of the house in their own unit. And unfortunately, we do not have a 240 charging system set up. What I have done here, this is going to be, show you guys a little better. This is going to be my one of my chargers. I have an outdoor one here as well. I have set up the Tesla mobile charger here and you can kind of see how I've run the cable down to here. Here's the connection point and from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the EV Dance extension, run it all the way over here. This entire run we're looking at roughly a 50 to 60 foot run. So you have the option of running a 120 charger over there which will take your tenant forever or you can spend a crazy amount of money to run a conduit under the ground and over there and I believe most people are not going to do that. So let's go ahead we're going to give you that solution. I'm going to go ahead and kind of walk you guys through it. We'll make a connection and I'll show you how the Tesla charges with that extension. This is actually my main charging unit here and as I had mentioned to you guys I had set up a secondary charger for outside. But let's get to the main point. We're going to run the cable. This is the Tesla's wiring and you can tell it just stops well short of its destination. So I've got the setup that's going to connect here. We're going to run it all the way over here. And you guys can already tell it's a very long walk for charging. There's the charger plug right there. We'll go ahead and walk back. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate how the EV Dance connector works. Here's the Tesla. This is the EV Dance. You just make sure that you've got them correctly set up, plug it in. The beauty of this one here is you can actually lock it. This way is going to open and then you can also lock it. So we have locked it, we'll leave it into place and now I'm going to go ahead, walk over to the Tesla. We're going to demonstrate how it charges. I'm over here at the Tesla some 40 feet away. We're going to go ahead and open this up here, unlock it, we'll open that up, set the phone down, and from here we're going to make sure that we have a nice secure connection. Push it all the way in. It's going to be difficult for you guys to see, but we do have blue. And let's take a look at my phone here. I'll try to see if I can get it for you guys. It is saying that it is charging at 32 amps, which is what I believe the mobile charger maxes out at. 
it's saying that it's going to take me six hours and 10 minutes to go to 100%. So you can tell it is reaching its maximum capacity that the mobile charger works. So all we're going to do if we need to disconnect as any Tesla setup, we'll stop it and then just unlock and pull it out. That is it. As a bonus, what I wanted to throw into the mix is let's say you have your Tesla extension, you have a secondary vehicle that uses a 1772 uh, charging setup and same scenario, it is parked far away. EV Dance does sell a Tesla to a 1772. So it is designed very well. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll just hook it up make sure it's fully connected and seated and then we're going to plug it in into my Cayenne plug-in hybrid I've got the green light that indicates that the car is charged so there's just so many possibilities with using this extension let's say this extension was not a Tesla setup remember EV dance does sell the 1772 extension setup as well so they've got you fully covered I hope you guys found the demonstration of the EV dances extension cable useful I showed you guys how to use it from a mobile charger standpoint from Tesla running it all the way over to the other side of the house and successfully charging the Tesla. In addition, I went ahead and kind of threw in the mix that you could also purchase a 1772 adapter to connect the Tesla to a 1772 equipped EV. I find this particular uh, product here very useful and it could save you money if you do not have the options of running a 240 system to where your your Tesla or your EV that's set up to do 1772 is going to be. If you are interested in this product, you can go ahead and check it out below in the product description. This setup here is the 40 foot cable and I'll tell you it is not cheap. It's very heavy. You have already seen how it looks here. Quality is equivalent to what Tesla provides or even better. I do want to go ahead and thank all of my subscribers as well as new subscribers for dropping by, checking out a very useful product. If you also have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm getting so close to getting that elusive 10,000 subscribers to the channel and I want to personally thank every one of you for potentially making this happen. Until the very next time, this is Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off.